my name is Marie France Garon. Today, what we're making is a pizza. We're gonna make a pizza base with cauliflower. This is my best friend. We make rice with this, we make so many things, and it's delicious. So, let's get started. We're making our pizza base with cauliflower and some eggs. And so I've prepared it already, chopped off really, really fine. You can grate it or you can put it in your food processor. This is what I did. I just used that small one here. So the secret to make it like nice and fine like that is to make sure that maybe when you wash your cauliflower, you put it on a towel first to take out as much water as you can because we want it to be dry. We don't want to have any water in our base here. And put it in very small quantity in the food processor to make it fine, just like this. So this is our cauliflower rice or cauliflower base for our pizza. Now let's make this and it's quite simple. We're gonna use some eggs. My pizza will be a big long square pizza. I'll make it, I'll bake it in that tray here. You can make like a pizza base, like looking like a normal pizza, but I like to make it like this. So we'll break three eggs here for this recipe. I think three will be plenty. So here we go, we have three eggs. We're gonna beat them a little bit. So, the eggs, add some salt, so we're nearly done, we're going to put in all this cauliflower here with the eggs, with the three eggs, all in, and start mixing that. You're just gonna see, depending what quantity, I have a whole cauliflower here because I'm making a big tray. So you're gonna vary how many eggs you want and you will see it when your cauliflower absorb the egg like this and it start to really stick together, then that's the, the right quantity. So you probably use two eggs if you make a smaller uh, amount. And we're going to add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese here. So that's going to help all of this to stick together as a pizza base. So I've put here about one cup of cheese and I think I'll add the rest and another half a cup. So one and a half. Okay, now we're ready to cook this. That's going to cook at 300 degree uh, Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius and it's gonna cook for about 20 minutes. We don't wanna cook it too, too fast because we wanna eliminate any moisture that might be in our cauliflower still. So we wanna cook it slowly in the oven. I'll show you a little tip here. Now we need to put some baking paper here. Voila. Now, just one little tip here. When you put your baking paper, sometimes it just bounces back. So what we do is we throw it in hot water. I can go under the tap and put it in. So put it in hot water like that. And now your paper is all soft and it's easy to place in the tray and it's gonna be following. So we have our paper here really sitting really nicely here in the pan, makes things easier. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil first. So I'll brush all that on the paper here to have my oil everywhere on the paper like this. So ready? Now we're gonna put all this cauliflower here on our pan. And we're gonna cook it at 300, 150 Celsius. So we're just pressing down all this cauliflower base here to make our pizza base. So ready to go in the oven now. And we're gonna prepare our nice topping for our pizza. Now what you put on your pizza, whatever is in the fridge or whatever you like in your pizza. Me, I put a lot, you will see. 
there will be a lot, a lot of nice things coming on top here. So let's go into the oven for 20 minutes. Here's our pizza base, just came out of the oven and it's perfect. So that's good. And now we're gonna build our pizza just like you do your normal pizza. So we start with the pizza sauce. Voila! Now we're gonna have some cheese and this cheese has uh, cheddar, mozzarella, parmesan, whatever cheese you like. So some cheese here. I like to put cheese in the middle and a little bit more on top. This is what I like to do. Now I've got uh, ham and pepperoni and we'll put that all on our pizza here. You can put them just like so. It doesn't have to be all lined up perfect. We have lots of ham and we have our pepperoni here. You can make it vegetarian, of course, if you like it. You can put lots of veggies here. Whatever it is that you like on a pizza. Now, next, I have some nice sweet peppers grilled. And just put that on top. I'll put just a little bit more cheese now. And I'll finish with the rest of my topping. Now we put uh, artichokes, this is nice, some artichokes, just throw it on like so. And we have some asparagus, now the asparagus, I, um, I cooked them before in the oven, so we're just going to put them all over, not in a particular order. And to finish off we have some olives, because we love olives. So we put lots of black olives, they're just halves here. Some kalamata, some... That's all I've got for the pizza for today. It's going in the oven for another maybe 15 minutes. At 350, about 20 minutes. See you soon! Here is our pizza. Would be maybe a good idea to let it sit for a few minutes before we try to serve. I'm just gonna slide it out all onto the top here. I have a granite top bench here. So here's the pizza cutter. Got it all, but we should be able to try a little piece here. Voila, our pizza is ready. So it is really a real pizza and it tastes like a real pizza and everybody enjoys this. It's healthy, delicious and easy to make. Bon appétit!